Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is Central Teacher Eligibility Test, Paper 2, Social Science Class 6, Hour Pass 1 in CRT. Chapter 7, Ashoka, the Emperor Who Gave Up War. Let's start up with the practice questions. First one, where the lines that we see on our notes and coins were carved in stone and placed on top of a massive stone pillar. That is at Sarnath. Who was one of the greatest rulers known to history and on his instructions, inscriptions were inscribed on pillars as well as on rock surfaces. That was the great Ashoka. Who founded the empire that Ashoka ruled more than 2300 years ago? That was by his grandfather, Chandragupta Maurya. Who was supported by a wise man named Chanakya or Kautilya? Chandragupta was supported by this man. Many of Chanakya's ideas were written down in which book? That was the Arthashastra. When members of the same family become rulers one after another, the family is often called a dynasty. The Mauryas were a dynasty with three important rulers. Who are they? They are Chandragupta, his son Bindusara and Bindusara's son Ashoka. What was a gateway to the northwest including Central Asia while Ujjain lay on the route from north to South India. That's Takshashila. Now let's see the map here. This is very very important map which everybody should understand. What are the important inscriptions of Ashoka? Where are all these inscriptions? Let's see here one by one. Here Sanchi is very very important here in Bihar and then Kalinga where Ashoka fought his war and also he stopped fighting even. He sacrificed everything and led his life in the path of Buddhism. And also you have to remember this Very important places like Lumbini, yes, Lumbini Garden and then Ujjain is here. Then this is Patali Putra, this is Kausambi. So these are all very, very important places here. And all the red places given here are the where the inscriptions are written. So we have to remember all these inscriptions very very important. Now let's start with the practice questions again. Each of the areas or provinces was ruled from a provincial capital such as Takshasila or Ujjain. Now which book tells us that the northwest was important for blankets and South India for its gold and precious stones. That was the Arthashastra by Kautilya or Chanakya. Now statements whether true or false, taxes which were collected on a regular basis, basis, tribute was collected as and when it was possible from people who gave a variety of things more or less willingly at those times. Yes, both the statements are true. Now again, Megasthenes was an ambassador who was sent to the court of Chandragupta, Chandragupta by the Greek ruler of West Asia named Seleucus Niketa. Megasthenes wrote an account about what he saw. Yes, both are true. This Megasthenes is very, very important. Even question can come here. Who was the ambassador uh, who was sent to the court of Chandragupta by the Greek ruler? of West Asia that also very important Seleucus Niketa who has sent and Megasthenes was an ambassador. 
and he was sent to Chandragupta Maurya. Why he was sent? To write on account what he saw in their empire or dynasty. Now, next question. Who was the most famous Mauryan ruler and the first ruler who tried to take his message to the people through inscriptions? That was the great Ashoka. Most of Ashoka's inscriptions were in which language and script? They were in Prakrit language and were written in the Brahmi script. Very important question. What is the ancient name of coastal Odisha? That was Kalinga. Who fought a war to conquer Kalinga? That was Ashoka. Who is the only king in the history of the world who gave up conquest after winning a war? That was Kalinga war. That was Ashoka again. What is the Prakrit word for the Sanskrit term Dharma? That is Dhamma. Now statements, Ashoka's Dhamma did not involve worship of a god or performance of a sacrifice. He was also inspired by the teachings of the Buddha. Yes, both the statements are true. Now look at this finely polished stone sculpture that is the Rampura bull. So, this was part of a Mauryan pillar found in Rampura Purva that is in Bihar and has now been placed in Rashtrapati Bhavan. Very important points here. It can come as an objective also MCQ. It is an example of the skill of the sculptures of that time. Now, who appointed officials known as the Dhamma Mahamatta? Who went from place to place teaching people about Dhamma, that was Ashoka appointed the officials. Now, Ashoka also sent messengers to spread ideas about Dhamma to other lands such as Syria, Egypt, Greece and Sri Lanka. Now, let us see the Ashoka's messages to his subjects, what he has given. They can come as assertion and reasoning questions also or statements true or false or just the statements here. People perform a variety of rituals when they fall ill, when their children get married, when children are born or when they go on a journey. These rituals are not useful. Instead, people observe other practices. This would be more fruitful. Now, what are those other practices? Let us see. These are being gentle with slaves and servants, respecting one's elders, treating all key creatures with compassion, then giving gifts to Brahmins and monks. It is both wrong to praise one's own religion or criticize another's. Very important teachings. Each one should respect the other's religion. If one praises one's own religion while criticizing another's, one is actually doing greater harm to one's own religion. Therefore, one should try to understand the main ideas of another's religion and respect it. Very well said. Now, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India also wrote about these. Uh, his edicts, that is Ashoka's edicts or instructions still speak to us in a language we can understand and we can still learn much from them, obviously. Now, let us see the elsewhere here, uh, the end of the chapter. Somewhat before the time of the Mauryan Empire, about 2400 years ago, emperors in China began building the Great Wall. Great Wall of China, now also it is very, it is wonders in the world, one of the wonders in the world. It was meant to protect the northern frontier of the empire from the pastoral people. Additions to the wall were made over a period of 2000 years because the frontiers of the empire kept shifting. Now, the wall is about 6400 kilometer long and is made of stone and brick with a road along the top. Now, several thousand people work to build the wall. There are watch towers all along at distances of about 100 to 200 meters. So, these are all the practice questions. If you like, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. I will come with the next chapter again. Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.